happiness is watching Depeche Mode do a live concert for their new album. So happy! And that kind of sets the tone for the rest of this vlog. Um, listen, I'm not going to lie to you, I have a stinking hangover. Um, and I really... I've wasted about an hour and 20 minutes of my life trying to record this vlog. <laughs> just keep going off on a tangent and, and ending up wanting to be here but ending up about 35 miles away talking about something completely different which sounds quite familiar but worse than normal. Oh, so bad. So, I've now rehearsed this vlog several times so we'll cut to the chase. First things first, Shawnee. There is a guy called Shawnee who subscribes to my YouTube videos. He, I did a randomizer on what's it, Sandra series.com or something like that. There was 813 comments um, in that video where you could win the aromamizer thing with all the bits. And page 6, number 507 comment was Shawnee. Congratulations Mark, here's to the next five. Sean Harding. Sean Harding, you did win. Drop me a note, please. Um, other than that, what has happened this week? Uh, Stay focused. Right. First things first. Boy doink. This came in uh, last Friday, I think it was. Uh, this is the Claymore. This is by a Scottish company. I shall put the link in the description. It is a mechanical mod. That is a Narda on there. It is 24mm in diameter, this device. It is not a hybrid. It has a standard 510 top cap on it. Top cap. Uh, see, but my brain broken, brain broken, not work. Uh, let's put some liquid in here first. Now this is um, it's not a retail version as such. Um, he, he sent it on to me to to have a look at uh, Kenny, and to pass my thoughts back to him. But uh, It just, I mean, that's a 22mm Narda with a brass cap on top just to keep the whole brass thing going. Um, it, like I say, it's 24mm. Now, what it's got going on is it does have these little plastic rings that go around. Uh, now, if he does, I, I believe, I don't know, but if he was to do different coloured ones, that would be a nice thing. Mixy match with your Atty top cap. Um, things, uh, it's just got a bog standard 510 pin on it. You know, you have to manually adjust it yourself. There's no self adjustment there, or auto adjustment, I should say. You know, you have to screw it there. You, you've got the battery rattle adjuster there as well. That's nothing new. Um, this is essentially just another mech that you've seen a million times before. There's nothing really to set it apart. Aside from those plastic rings, which I've seen over the years, um, what I do like about it is the switch. The switch is so light, so light. It, it's magnets in here. Uh, it's just, and it's recessed as well, the switch in there. But, and I do like the engraving as well. But you can actually get your knuckle in there and you can fire. I like to fire like that sometimes. And it's just a light touch on that. It really is. Um, only other thing to point out that uh, I'm not 100% sold on. Uh, I don't actually have an issue with it because I, I own other makes that have the same setup. Um, the switch, you do have like that piece here. Now, this was glued on, okay? This was glued onto the switch here, this insulator. Now, being a reviewer, the first thing I wanted to do was I wanted to get in there and take the thing to bits and check the switch. And finding that that was actually glued on, I wasn't that 
uh, I think he'd be better if he just didn't glue it on, if he just left it as some, you know, a, an insulator that you could actually leave off and just pop on. Uh, th I prefer that rather than it being stuck on there because, you know, if people want to take their switches to bits and fanny about, it's just natural. Um, Yeah, that that's it. That's all there is to it. I mean, who am I kidding? It's a make. Uh, you know, it's it's a make that. <sighs> Listen, those of you that watch my videos, you will know the things I love and keep are 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 things that I can I can relate to. The people that make them, I like the people that make them. I like where they were made. I like the quirks. Uh, the, you know, there's always a little thing to it that, that makes me love a device. Uh, it's not just because it's expensive and it's hard to get. It's, you know, I've got stuff, you know, the vape droids. I mean, the vape droids, I've got two of the vape droids here, uh, which I use all the time. Um, and anybody can go and buy one of them. Anybody. Um, Actually, that's about the only mod that I've got up there that anybody can go and buy in the <laughs> Bang goes that argument, you knobber. Um, it's £80. You have to go to a Facebook group to buy it. Um, yeah, I think he's putting up a list for 20 places just now. I will put a link in the description to this video if you want to go and check it out. Uh, I do think it's a good make. I think it performs well. That, But it's nothing new. I'm not going to bullshit you and lie to you and say that it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. It's not. It's much the same as many other mechs out there, but it does work well. The 510, uh, I did find it to be, this is the first cap that you sent me. Like I say, this isn't a retail version. Um, the 510 is a bit deep, uh, so you sent me a new one today, which is a lot better, but you're still looking at about 4.6mm you know, if you put the 510 pin up to its highest, then your 510 pin on your Atty, uh, you, you know, you're going to want it to be about at least 4.5, 4.6mm long to make contact with this device. I like it. I do. I do like it. I think you'll do well. It's the fact, as I said, it's not mass produced. It's made in house. I mean, the only thing that gets outsourced or he buys in are the little 510 pins. It's not CNC'd, uh, it's never going to be made in large quantities. So if, if you like the look of the Claymore, and you like soft switches, I mean, and it's just a beautiful switch, 24mm uh, in diameter. I'll put a 24mm at it on it actually. Do I have a 24mm? That's a very good question. Uh, I do. But it's got a squonk pin in it just now. The Aeronaut? Yeah, but Aeronaut. Aeronaut's 24. Uh, if I remember right. Oh, I've just moved my airflow. Back you go, back you go, back you go. There we go. Uh, so there it is, a 24 on it. That's a triad, or triad, whatever you want to call it. nice. I do like it. I do like it. And it's made in Glasgow. You get a free bottle of Iron Brew and a deep fried Mars bar with every single one. No, you don't. You don't really. Uh, right. What else have I been vaping with this week? I have been vaping with this thing a lot. Um, this is the new Asmodus uh, Minikin Boost. That's a, a thing on top that's got a name that's E Phoenix tank version the the junior the if I put the name in the I don't I don't put the name in it I've got two of these tanks it's gone it's completely gone I know I'm not recording this again it's not the resurrection right is it on written on this? Why don't you write the name of the tank on it? See, this is the version. This is the version 1.2 um, of it, and I've got a top fill add-on tank for it. 
This is an E-Phoenix Resurrection. I have a new version of this coming soon. This is a version 1 dripper. Uh, there's a V2 coming out. And this was the Hurricane. <laughs> the Hurricane Junior. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go back. Oh, I need more coffee or something. Um, so I've been vaping with this a lot. <laughs> Just um, I do know that earlier on I, I did talk about you wouldn't have seen it the osmium. Um, I'm thoroughly enjoying this as well. I mentioned this last week. Here's the scary thing: the osmium single eighteen six fifty weighs more. Than this dual 18650 mod by Asmodis. <laughs> this thing weighs a ton. Uh, it's like 343 grams or something like that. Uh, it's very, very heavy, but I kind of like that. Back in the day, you used to. When mechs were first out and they were stainless steel, brass, and copper and whatnot, and you were like, yeah, vaping. And then you got aluminium ones came out and you were like, yeah, vaping, feels light, feels cheap. Because it was light, you can in your head, it felt cheap. Same with titanium ones, um, which was strange. That weight you kind of equated to, to value. Total rubbish, but it just felt that way. And it's the same with this. Uh, the fact that it's heavy, just it's like, yeah, you're vaping with a thing. Um, anyway, and they've both got the power curve functions on them which I haven't, couldn't give a shit about. Um, I can't just see this sitting going into menus and mucking about with power curves and things like that. It just, I want to be vaping. Um, that's why I like the Yeehee, the old Yeehee boards is, is that you just did, you know, normal, powerful, Powerful Plus or Eco, you know, if you wanted a a ramp up at the start of your vape, you just set it to Powerful and that was it. That's all you did, click and away you went. This going into sub menus and adjusting things or going into computers and adjusting things, not interested. That's not what vaping's about for me, but uh, I'm a dinosaur, don't you know? Uh, oh yeah, I've been vaping for five years now. Hey! And also, I think I've been doing reviews for about five years as well now. Or in the next few weeks, it'll be five years. Whew. Um, actually, there's a thing. Let's, let's check this out. Right, here's a mission for you all. For those of you that... No. What? Who would do... See, YouTube. YouTube just makes me sad. This has come up in my feed. Slapping my face 100,000 times in one video took 20 hours and 38 minutes. Why would you record that? It's been watched 2 million times. It just makes me mad. But then in saying that, some people watch my videos. I'd probably actually watch somebody. People would probably pay good money to watch me slapping myself <laughs> 10 million to 100,000 times, I should say. Right, other stuff that came in. I will, um, the Reaper. The Reaper V2, yes, I screwed up that video. The My calipers, <sighs> so embarrassing. Um, this is it on the Series B DNA 75 Watt by Jack Vapor. This little mod is tremendous. A lot and lot of love for this little device. Uh, it's just beautiful. It it really is nice. That's awesome. The the Reaper V two. Uh, yes, you can get more air through its three millimeter draw. Yes, not two point five. Three mil. Um, Flavour's great, but you, for me, my vaping habits have changed. I can get more air, and, and I prefer it. But um, this... Did I show you this? Even the presentation that for this thing that it came in, this Series B, this box and everything, it just... I don't know. 
It's an Edinburgh company. They're just over there, over the, over the water, over that way. So they get a lot of love from me just for being Scottish. But um, if I was to take all that out of the equation, uh, hugely impressed with this little DNA seventy five. Done a good job, and they did a really good job in that. Really good job. Um, also, the the tank they sent me on that that came with it is it the S twenty two. Yeah, the S twenty two. Um, I've got was it one ohm coils and nickel coils. I've been vaping it with the nickel coils. Really good flavour from it, and it looks really good on the mod. Uh, and this is dirt, dirt cheap. I think this is about fifteen quid. Um, and it looks really good on that mod. Um, and it's got beautiful vape. Anyway, uh, what else did I get sent on? Can't remember. Did I show you the coiling brush? Did I? I can't remember now. This thing. Well, I'll show you. Ta -da! It's a thing! It's it's like um, you've got a coiling rod, so it goes uh, is it two, two point five, three, three point five, four mil diameter rods going down there, which is great because I mean I use this thing all the time. I mean that's the one I use all the time. Um, but so Coilmaster have got one, but the end it, it kind of does this like right, that, unscrews like that, and I did I, I just happened to unscrew that by mistake. Oops. There we go. And you've got a little brush. So you can brush your coils. You know when you've got your change of cotton, you've got gunky coils, you can just give them a little <laughs> um I don't know what that noise is about. Um it's cheap and cheerful, it costs pennies or a few pounds this thing. Um I can't tell you any more about it. It's just a coiling rod with a brush on the end of it, a wire brush. I think it's great. Um, I think it's great. I've got a pile more here I'll hand out to folk. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm going to play with that. I'll show you it off in a video or something like that. It actually working. Um, vaping this week. What have I been vaping this week? Well, this week I've mostly been. I started done. A, I killed my old bottle. I'm on a new bottle of uh, Grasshopper uh, by Coil Vapes. I've opened that. Uh, I've just started on this one again. I can't even pronounce that one. Um, what else was I vaping this week? I was vaping something else. Obviously my goose juice. Uh, oh, um, there's the thing, goose juice. I put, I put a post up about this. Where did it go now? Uh, Mr. Todd, that'll be me. A uh, company called eLiquidFlavorConcentrates.co.uk now have the, the this stuff. Boink. Bah. My uh, goose juice, you always hear me talking about it. They've got the concentrates back in stock. So if you want to try goose juice, remember it's concentrates. It's not pre-made. You have to mix it up yourself. Go along to them and, and you can buy some. Um, that's all I've got for you. That's all I've got. Uh, right, I'm going back to watch De De Depeche Mode. Depeche Mode. Uh, with their new album um, in Berlin, I think it was recorded. Yes, it was recorded last night. Um, I have nothing else for you. Listen, I should be doing reviews and things like that today. I'm not going to because uh, I'm so under the weather; it's unbelievable. Uh, to you guys, thank you for watching. Um, thank you for continuing to watch. Listen, um, no, that's all I've got. Uh, is that it? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. People were asking how TJ was doing. Uh, yes, I know that he's, he's, he doesn't get on camera much during the winter because he's manky. He's, 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 absolutely, he's just covered in mud. So that's why he doesn't get up. But um, you normally just see him during the summer. But he's always down there behind me, uh, mincing about doing his thing. And yeah. He's not in the best of form, he's missing the beach. He's missing... Is that enough? You had enough? Right. Right, we're away guys. Uh, enjoy what's left of the weekend and we'll catch up with you soon. Bye now!